back up a little bit. You talked about Facebook a little bit. And, you know, early on, we talked about how you and Frank connected. Can you can you go into that story? <laughs> yeah. So it's actually a really funny story. And and in the moment, it seemed all I mean, I, I think it is normal, especially in, in today's age with technology. But sure. when I explain the story to, story to people, it's just it's like, wow, that that's, seems kind of weird, but it's, it's just funny. So basically what happened was I so about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I started getting interested in real estate. So I was reading the books, listening to the podcasts, networking and all that. And I got to a point where I said, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm at a comfortable level. I, I understand the concepts. I need to just start networking a little bit more with higher level people. Mm -hmm. So something I did was I joined Facebook groups. Now, any industry, there's Facebook groups with a ton, right. with tons of, of value and knowledge in there. Mm -hmm. So for me, obviously, I was in, interested in real estate. So I went on Facebook, looked up real estate investing Facebook groups and mm -hmm. started joining. I probably have like 50 of them by now. Okay. And and I would just go ahead and whoever was active in the group, mm -hmm. I would message them just for a quick networking call just to get to know them. Because what I found sure. is I, I, I could learn a lot from other people's experiences and avoid the mistakes that they made. Mm -hmm. And you know, in return, maybe be able to help them with something as well. So what I did was I was in a Facebook group. And I saw this guy, Frank, he was commenting. He was active. You could tell he was pretty serious in the group at least. That's right. Cool. So he had something to him and, you know, I connected with him. We, we went back and forth on Facebook messenger, hopped on a phone call. And that was, that was that we, you know, we got to know each other, but mm -hmm. obviously we didn't just say, okay, let's start a business together. That was six months down the line. So in, in the short term where it went, was we both ended up joining a mastermind group. Okay. And basically what that is, and I believe they have them for any ind industry. Yes, they do. Yeah. So the, the basic concept, just for the listeners that aren't sure. aware, mm -hmm. it's the way, at least the way I think of it, it's a group of like-minded individuals all reaching towards a, the same or similar goal. Mm -hmm. And it's a group to basically help each other out. Yep. So, and, so in the real estate investing world, you know, there's tons of them as well. And, and by, by helping each other out, that could be partnering, that could be, you know, investing so many different ways to, to help somebody out and get mutual benefit, of course. Sure. So, so Frank and I actually joined the same mastermind group. Okay. And, um, basically we, we've been in the group for, I guess, over a year now, almost. Mm -hmm. And a few months after we were both in the group, just networking with everybody, he, you no, know, he came to me and said, you know, I, you know, this lead generation thing, it's kind of, it's kind of drying up for me. So that's how we actually were able to put our heads together mm -hmm. and, and, and form, form the property dogs, get the investment side going because, sure. you know, we were able to kind of add value to each other and, and use our strengths and weaknesses to complement each other. And that's kind of how property dogs started. Isn't that amazing? The power of networking and in, in, yeah. in today's day and age, like, I mean, meeting on Facebook, like, you know, a couple of years ago, people would be like, what are you talking about? But in, in <laughs> today's COVID world, right. It's legitimate. You can meet somebody, you can network with them like you did. And as long as you're networking in earnest and trying to build that relationship, right. it's pretty amazing what can come out of that. Right. Oh I yeah. Mean, your story is point in case, right. You, you, you and Frank developed a, a very uh, trusting relationship enough to go into business together. And that's pretty remarkable. I, I always enjoy hearing about connection stories like that, that are, that work out. In yeah. Life. Yeah. It's, it's super cool. And, and I've had honestly a ton more for, just from social media. Actually the, the way I found the mastermind group was mm -hmm. a very similar way, right? Reaching out to people, someone recommended it. I got linked up with that. I've had people, I've had also investors as well. People I just meet through social media, we get talking, we build our relationship. And next thing you know, they want to invest in one of our deals. So it's, it's really crazy, the power of social media. Mm -hmm. And, and the, actually the craziest thing about it all about social media is it's, it's pretty much free. Anyone can access it. It's obviously there's things you could pay for if you wanted to, sure. if you want to boost posts or whatever, but pretty much everything that I've done as far as connecting with people, actually everything I've done with connecting with people has been free, which is kind of cool to, because you hear, you know, there's so many different ways you can pay to, to get different benefits, mm -hmm. but social media at the end of the day, it's completely free. 
and yeah. anyone could could gain a lot of traction using the free resource. Well, Just some the time. Thing, the other thing you hit on was the mastermind groups. So you know, I, I've experienced a couple of different mastermind groups. Uh, they're typically very vertical centered, right? So manufacturing might be one, auto dealers is another. It's interesting in the auto dealership space, they call them 20 groups because there's usually 20 people all like-minded, like you said, getting together. And when, when you get people who know a niche together like that, some pretty amazing things happen and come out of those. So I definitely recommend people get involved with those. Definitely. And, and, and honestly, a simple Google search will, will get you in the right direction. No matter what niche you're in is, you know, real estate masterminds. Well, if, if there's a certain real estate, if you're interested in real estate, I, I have, I know, I know a ton that are just out there that I could help with, but sure. really any industry, like you said, auto sales, manufacturing, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're really all over the place. Take advantage of them. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to recommend somebody to appear on the podcast as a guest, please email us at info at opsqc.com. If you're interested in sponsoring a podcast, please reach out to us at the same email. We'd love to have your support.